In preparing crossing guards to assume their post, we talk about the eight steps of the crossing procedure. When police officers step into an intersection to direct traffic and cross pedestrians, they are using a different procedure than a crossing guard would. They stand in an intersection and direct traffic by motioning with their hands. The crossing guard does not direct traffic, but instead looks for a gap in traffic or creates a gap and activates the pedestrian law by stepping into the crosswalk with the stop paddle raised. Crossing guards hold a stop paddle in one hand and extend the other arm out to the side or pointing ahead of them. They do not use their hands to motion children to cross because the hand motion may be misinterpreted by drivers as a signal to proceed. Crossing guards must understand that they do not direct traffic. If a crossing guard does direct traffic because of the particular circumstance of their post, they should be trained specifically to the demands of that location. Now we're going to review the eight steps of the crossing procedure. First, you should stand at least one step in from the road edge and assemble students together in one group. Watch for students approaching the crossing, any students running to catch up to the group, and ask anyone on vehicles like bicycles or skateboards to dismount. Next, use your gap assessment skills to find a safe gap in traffic, or use a visual marker as an indicator of whether drivers have enough time to stop for you. With heavy traffic, you may need to create a gap by raising your stop paddle to signal your intent to cross. Remember to give drivers more time and room to stop in wet and icy conditions. Step into the crosswalk with the stop paddle raised at shoulder height to activate the crossing. Do not continue into the crosswalk until you are certain that near side traffic has stopped for you and make sure that children wait for your instruction before they step into the road. Then, with the stop paddle still raised, ensure that all traffic can see you as you continue into the crosswalk to stop far side traffic. Take position just outside of the crosswalk in a place where you can keep an eye on both traffic and the children. Once you have taken position, begin the crossing by making eye contact with the children and verbally telling them that it is okay to cross. Never use hand signals to let the children know to cross as drivers may misinterpret this as a signal for them instead. Maintain your position until all children have completed the crossing. Make sure no drivers cross the crosswalk until all children are safely on the opposite curb or roadway edge. Finally, remain alert and return to the starting curb, keeping the stop paddle raised until you are safely back on the curb. If another student approaches, have the student wait until other students gather before initiating another crossing. The New Jersey Crossing Guard Training and Resources Program is supported by the New Jersey Department of Transportation, New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety, and New Jersey Municipal Excess Liability Joint Insurance Fund. For more information on the New Jersey Crossing Guard Training and Resources, go to njcrossingguards.org.